Hey everybody, hope you're all doing good today out here in the lake and wanted to take a second and uh, do a little video on something I've been thinking about doing for quite a while. And that's the topic of um, lithium batteries. Are they worth the investment? And um, I'm just gonna stay right off the bat, uh, you know, to get it out of the way. Yes, they're worth the investment. And I wanna sort of take this uh, video to sort of explain why to you. But I'm pretty excited because uh, starting for, for now and for the 2021 season, um, I switched to lithium. I'm running the, the, the Dakota lithium battery systems. So check it out here in the boat. Got them set up there. And I'm super excited about it. And I sort of want to go over with you why I feel the way that I do sort of list it out here. And I think by the end of the video, maybe I'll probably convince a lot of people to consider it. Um, first of all, advantages of the lithium batteries. Um, the lithium batteries like the Dakota lithium, you know, with the iron phosphate, they have a flat voltage curve. And what that means is that you don't ever run low on power as the day goes on. For example, you know, how many times have you started fishing at the beginning of the day and say you're on your trolling motor high in wind or current and by noon or so you start losing power and you've lost half your thrust. I noticed this at the last tournament I fished down at Lay Lake, I was still using the lead acid batteries, fishing super heavy, super heavy current. And about one o'clock in the afternoon, I was down to like half thrust simply because, you know, my battery drained from running that battery hard all day long. And with the lithium, ba lithium batteries like the Dakota Lithium, you don't have that. It's like you run it hard. It's, it's, you can run the boat hard for two days and you have just as much power at the end of that second day as you do starting out before the batteries just go flat and go dead on there. Um, so that's a huge advantage for me. And also with the iron phosphate uh, lithium, um, you know how a lot of times, like if it's super cold in the morning, like it's 15 or 20 degrees, you'll have a hard time cranking over. You don't have that with the lithiums. The lithiums will crank right over like it's 100 degrees, which is a big plus on there. Other advantages, you know, everybody talks about how light they are. These batteries, these lithiums are 60% lighter um, than a lead battery. So I've, right off the bat, I've reduced several hundred pounds of weight in the back of my boat. This is gonna equate to a lot better hole shot for me. It's gonna be better handling in rough water. It's probably gonna increase my speed a couple miles an hour. There's a lot of advantages that come with the weight part of it. On top of that, they last four times longer. I mean, these batteries, the Dakota Lithiums have um, an 11 year warranty on them. So <clears throat> when you factor in the fact that they do cost more and that's the biggest downfall that a lot of people saw with lithium is how much more expensive they are. But if you take in, if you weigh everything out, the fact that they last four times longer, they got an 11 year warranty, you got this flat voltage curve that you never lose power for days they simply last a lot longer fishing wise and the life cycle of them, the weight part of it, everything that goes along, um, they are worth the investment. And especially if you're an angler that keeps a boat for a long time, if you've, if you plan, if say, for example, you take out a loan on a boat, you've got a 10 year loan, you can get a set of the lithium batteries like the Dakotas and you're good to go. You got an 11 year warranty on them. You make that investment one time. You don't have to worry about it. Um, and, I think that's the biggest thing that's held a lot of people back in the past is, is like, man, they just don't want to lay that money out because they don't think it's worth it. But overall, if you look at everything involved with it um, and, you know, take to take time to to figure out the financial investment versus the return on that and all the advantages that goes with it, they're absolutely worth it. Absolutely, they're worth the investment. And you're going to see a lot more people go to this. Eventually, you know, it's sort of my prediction that lead acid batteries are going to be phased out completely. It's going to be all lithium eventually. And um, it's just, I'm just really excited to, to, to be fishing with them right now. But anyway, um, like I said, wanted to do this little video because I've had a lot of people, you know, ask if it's worth the investment or not. Absolutely, it's worth the investment. Um, go check them out, you know, check out Dakota, Dakota Lithium Batteries, you know, state of the art, you know, I think you'll be really happy with them. And I'll keep everybody updated as the year goes on. You know, I'm gonna do a lot of, uh, you know, updates on the lithium, let you know my experiences with them, 
um, let you know, you know, everything good, everything, the downsides with them. I don't see any downside as far as, you know, right off the bat with them, but I'll, I'll sort of give you an honest analyzation over the next, the next year with it. But anyway, gonna get back to fishing here. So hope you guys are doing good. Talk to you later.